sorry. Okay, had to get little dude set up to do something else. Okay, so these are the super sponges. I've got four of them in here and just compressed the heck out of them, boy. And then along with that, I have some more of the super stoppers. Um, the, the stopper pads with the, I showed you with the, in the other one. So those are for heavy duty trauma bleeding. I've got six, six inch stretch gauze, which is just like this one, only this is sterile. And that's what I would put one of these compressions over it. I'd wrap it in this and then I'd just wrap the heck out of it with whatever I had just to put, create compression. I have a couple of ABD pads. I didn't go ahead and I didn't stock up on these a whole lot because, um, you know, they are what they are. These are like 8 by 10 inches. You know, they kind of unfold. They're about that big. They're great. But um, a couple of feminine napkins has just as much absorption power as these, and they're way cheaper. And then I've got sterile. These are surgical gloves. These are not... These are not just sterile gloves. These are actual surgical gloves. So anyway, I've got a couple of pairs of these in here. I'm gonna get some more, but they're uh, they're um, they're pretty spendy. You can go the route of getting non-surgical sterile gloves. These are not sterile. These are clean. These are considered clean, and you would use these when you're you know doing somebody's exam or cleaning up a boo-boo. If you were gonna be messing with an open deep wound, I'd say make sure that you go sterile or put surgical gloves on, especially if you're in a crap hit the spreader kind of a, of a situation uh, because you know you don't want somebody to get infected because uh, unless you have antibiotics, you're gonna be SOL on that one. So that's what I have in here. This is basically just for wound care, wound, heavy duty wound, taking care of heavy duty wounds. Um, what you don't see in here is things like, well, and just because I haven't put them in there, ibuprofen and Tylenol and Benadryl and all that. I have all that, I just haven't gone around putting it in there. It will be going in there. Um, this is for major um, stopping some major bleeding, taking care of some major wounds um, until you can get to the hospital. So that's what this kit is for. I do also, like I said, have the IV stuff um, that I hope I can get back in there. <laughs> anyway, that's this kit. This kit is a smaller version of that one. And it basically has the same exact stuff in it, smaller amounts. Um, and like I didn't compress these, they're just, I just threw them in here. I only put in two or three of these. These are the sterile six inch wraps. They're just super soft and nice. Again, some not in here pads. If I did 20 in this one, I did 10 in this one. So that's kind of where I'm at. 10 of those, I have one ABD instead of two. Um, I've got some of the, I've got five rolls of the four inch. I've got three of the non-sterile six inch. I've got, oh, this didn't take a, a super seal. But anyway, these are the gauze. I've got some Coban wrap. I've got some bio-occlusive and some Steri strips, some non-sterile four by fours, sterile pads, some two bys, and some gloves. I've got four pairs of gloves in here. This is the kit that I will throw in my truck when I'm going somewhere. Uh, like when we went up to the mountains the other day to go to go sledding or inner tubing. Had a blast, by the way. Hopefully, I'll get a video <laughs> of pictures of that one up there. Um, I just stuck my colloidal silver in here because I didn't have anywhere to put it. So, <laughs> some massasol, some. Um, Provodone iodine, some, here's the, here, I don't hope you can see these. Okay, these are the polymems. These are awesome if you have a blister. And what this is, is just a cloth dot of the foam. And, let's see if I can put that up there. 
And then it's got a bandage around it, a cloth bandage around it. So you stick it on there and peel that off. It's lovely. If you've got a boo-boo starting on your heel or, you know, somewhere that's chafing or whatever, these are awesome. They give just enough padding. Um, they're awesome. Lix liquid skin. I've got some, some eye itchy medicine. Dramamine. I'm going to tell you what. Car sick kids are the worst. Uh, and car sick adults are the worst too. A whole bunch of different tape. I've got some cloth tape, some paper tape, some silk tape, and some plastic tape, and some waterproof tape. A couple more I just had laying around. Some uh, just got these are gauze. These are not. Uh, these are the real fine or the real loose woven. That would be just to wrap stuff up with. And some band aids. And some extra. And I I stuck. I saw this and I thought. Excuse me. I thought. You know what? A shoestring or a bootstring wouldn't be nice to have in case you need it. And I don't have in here what I'd like to have is I'd like to have uh, some triangle bandages. I'd like to get some triangle bandages so you can make a sling out of them. Um, but you can also do that with shoestring, believe it or not. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with a lot of stuff that wasn't meant to be done. You know, you can uh, MacGyver it. So those are the medical kits. Uh, they are not done. Like I said, I do not have my, um, I don't have my um, splints in here. I'd like to have some splints in here. And I'd like to have, um, I need to get some more like ABD type pads and stuff. So anyway, this is just kind of a wound care, enough to get you to the hospital, enough to stitch you up if you needed it. Um, I also need to find my regular, my regular masks, my ear loop masks. I have no idea where they went either, because these are N95s. These are, these are the more expensive, you know, pandemic type things. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, obviously these aren't quite done yet, but I have been promising you guys this video for oh my god, I don't even know how many months. Um, and I thought maybe what we'd do was to entertain a question. Um, like somebody shoot me a question, I'll do a video about it. You know, if there's, if I get like reoccurring questions, if I see a pattern going, maybe I'll do a video about it. I don't know everything there is to know about medical. I mean, and I wrote to somebody and I said, that's why it's called practicing medicine. Because um, there's, you never know everything there is to know about it. There, I learn something new every single day something I didn't know or that I had forgotten. So um, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim to know everything about anything or anything about everything. <laughs> so I only know what I know. And um, if, if I don't know the answer to something, I will absolutely be pleased to, to find out the answer for you. Um, but shoot me an email, I mean a PM, or you can do a video response to it, or just shoot me a, just shoot me a comment and say, hey, you know, why don't we, this is a question I've been wondering, what would you do if, or how do I use this? What do I use this for? Um, maybe we can maybe get a little medical thing going between, between all of us. That'd be kind of cool. All right, you guys, um, this is going to be an ongoing project. It's not even nearly done, but I wanted to at least get it to the point where um, I kind of lived up to <laughs> my end of the bargain in telling you that I was, you know, the videos are coming. I just haven't figured out what I wanted to put them in. Um, like I said, um, I am not planning on bugging out. Um, if we bugged out... Um, it would be loading up our truck and, you know, if it still ran. Actually, we have one that would run anyway. So it would be loading that puppy up and stocking the back of it full of whatever we could throw in it and go. So um, to where? I have no idea. That's kind of why we're not bugging out. So anyway, these are my medical packs. My husband, I made one for him. His Molly pack has the same one on it with the exception of he doesn't have the EMT pack and he doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the uh, EpiPens because he doesn't need them. So anyway, if you have questions or comments, let me know. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Keep your powder dry. See you later. Hey guys, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, one thing you didn't see in my medical packs was, um, you know, there's no alcohol and there's no, uh, um, yeah, hydrogen peroxide. And that is because the bottles I have are like ginormous and I need to go get some smaller bottles that I can label and, and put in there. Um, you know, and that being said, also there's certain things that I don't have in my medical bag in my kit, like, um, you know, syrup of Ipecac, which is a good thing to have. Um, I've got all of my anti-diarrheals and my NSAIDs and my Benadryls and all that stuff is in my bathroom. Um, I'm, I'm trying to condense it into, I think I'm going to get one of those like little fishing lure boxes to have that's hard sided, it's just like snap together that I can throw in the kit that has all those kind of things in it because I've got IV stuff and I've got, you know, by mouth PO stuff. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So don't think I've forgotten about all that kind of stuff um, because I do have it. I just have to uh, pare it down a little bit because I buy in bulk and so I have alcohol that are like this, you know, so those aren't going to my bag. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Keep your powder dry.